Can Wi-Fi radiation from a router in my bedroom affect my health in any way? Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a modern concern. Can the Wi-Fi radiation from a router in your bedroom affect your health? We're surrounded by Wi-Fi signals all the time, but what do these signals actually do? What is Wi-Fi radiation? To begin, let's define what we mean by Wi-Fi radiation. Wi-Fi, or wireless networking technology, uses radio waves to provide wireless high-speed internet and network connections. The radio waves produced by a router are a type of electromagnetic radiation. But don't let that word scare you. It's important to know that these waves are non-ionizing radiation, meaning they lack the energy to remove tightly bound electrons from atoms. Can non-ionizing radiation affect my health? Now, on to the big question. Can this non-ionizing radiation impact your health? The consensus among health and safety organizations, such as the World Health Organization, is that exposure to Wi-Fi signals poses no public health risks. This is largely due to their low frequency and non-ionizing nature. However, some people report symptoms like headaches, fatigue, or concentration issues, which they attribute to exposure to electromagnetic fields, EMF. This phenomenon is often called electromagnetic hypersensitivity, EHS, but research has not conclusively linked these symptoms to EMF exposure. The World Health Organization states that EHS symptoms are likely due to other factors. What can I do to reduce Wi-Fi exposure? Even though the evidence suggests that Wi-Fi radiation is safe, if you're still concerned, there are a few things you can do to minimize your exposure. Place your router away from where you spend the most time. Turn off your Wi-Fi router at night. Use wired connections when possible. In conclusion, based on current scientific understanding, the Wi-Fi radiation from your router should not pose a risk to your health. But if you're worried, you can always take steps to minimize exposure. I hope this discussion has brought some clarity to the Wi-Fi and health concern. Until next time, stay curious and keep asking questions.